That was much louder is... than before. Wow. What? Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was opening a can a go signal. It's a go. You don't hear it at the end? No, that was your voice. Man, no, I, I literally so. cracked. You didn't. Hear, oh, you didn't hear the can. No, I, I heard the can. can. I didn't hear you say yeah. anything. No, but it's a, it's it's like a a noob centric s- signal for go. You know when someone says like crack a cold, don't you just get into it or hold my beer? It's like that type of thing. Except it's a Canada try. Gamer, you punch you, you punch me on Pixelmon. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, you're playing Pixelmon right now. I just I'm playing Pixelmon yeah, stream captains. Oh my god! Watching a stream. I'm Very focusing. Busy, We're good. Very busy, man. <laughs> Almost uh, spilled soda on my keyboard. <laughs> Welcome to the Pro Gamma Razzcast, where we uh, <laughs> multitask during every single episode. What are you doing right now, Raz? I'm just sitting here. I I watched oh, editing a video for once. I'm really not. I was <laughs> I watched some of the Pokemon Unite stuff, and I'm uh, just like, okay. Yeah, it's League, but Pokemon. Whoa. It's not. It's hot. It's wow. It's Arena Valor, because the people who work on Arena Valor are apparently working on this game, too. Ooh. Which is good, because I hear Arena Valor is okay. What is that? It's a mobile MOBA. MOBA Isle, if you will. Mobile? What? Mobile. Uh, it's an island. Uh, mobile vehicles on it. A mobile uh, Isle. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll stop. Yeah. I feel hey, like wait. I'd be mm-hmm. super hyped for Pokemon Unite if I was a MOBA person, but I am not a MOBA person. So, you know. I am a MOBA person, and I'm super <laughs> hyped for Pokemon Unite. I've played a MOBA once. <laughs> you were good at it when you played it. I was I. You were I was, fine. I wasn't that great. My days of League I mean, soiled me. Yeah, but I mean, who really is good at MOBAs other than pros? Like, if you're not if you're not top ten, you're essentially trash. Ow. That's just that's the Ow. mentality. It's it's true. Ow! Ow! It hurts my feelings. <laughs> of feelings after playing a MOBA? That doesn't make sense. It hurts my feelings. Oh, God. There are no feelings in MOBA. Yeah, you're not allowed to feel anything if you play MOBA. I All I think you can only... feel is disapp- disappointment. Oh no. Just crushing <laughs> disappointment uh, constantly. When when your teammates talk mad shit at you more than the fucking opposing team. Oof. Great, isn't it? I don't know, it's the best. It's my favorite part of Pokemon. I've only ever played a MOBA like twice in my life. Good. That was with me, right? There was the time I played with you because I had to for class. And then there was the time where uh it was it was my freshman year of high school and my cousin I went to visit my cousin for the holidays and he sat me down and he was like you're going to play the tutorial for league and then I played the tutorial oh, no. and I was like I hate this <laughs> I don't want this <laughs> oh, I feel that What didn't you like about it though in the tutorial I think it was just it. It was mainly that throughout middle school, because it league blew up when I was in middle school, right? And yeah. there was a point in time where there were like nine people who wanted me to play with them, and I was like, no, I don't, I don't feel like it. <laughs> and it was mainly my stubborn hipsterness that was like, it's popular, <laughs> so I don't want to play it. Uh, um, uh, and then you know, I started to learn that it has one of the most notoriously toxic communities and then i was like yeah i really don't want to try to get into it now it's like a train too far gone where i'm gonna like i'd like step in to a match and then everyone would scream at me so you know i'd rather not get involved that sounds about right there it's just a a massive pool of toxicity but hopefully this one will be different 
Well, there won't be any voice chat, really, so that's yeah. a good start. Yeah, but there's still probably text chat. But League doesn't have voice chat. Yeah. It. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't. HOTS does, and nobody uses it. Unless you're, like, the top, and even then. <laughs> I mean, you just use Discord Hots. at that point. Yeah. I mean, you know, the toxicity only goes as far as you really pay attention to it, because it's always going to exist, because it's a team game. Like... Frickin' Roblox has toxicity in it, and Roblox is literally Legos smacking each other with oofs. So, you know, it's no matter what, Mario Party has toxicity in it, and that's a casual game that you play with friends and then want to throw off a bridge after. Like, no matter what, it's always going to be like that. Um, you want to change it, cool. but, you know, you have to, you have to, what, Zach Gamma? Mario Party's not casual. Uh, that's the fight for the death. It is to see, yeah, okay, the depth. Yeah, jeez. Are you cheating on Pixelmon? You said you weren't gonna. I'm not cheating. You cheated. Are you, are you cheating on a game? I'm not. Heal this Pokemon without going. Oh no, I healed my Pokemon. <laughs> oh, the humanity. How could I do such a horrible thing? It's almost as bad as. Catching a fucking legendary with a master ball that I spawned in. Oh, the <laughs> humanity. So my computer blue screen. Sick. Oh, you, you missed me talking screen. mad shit. What is that? Damn, that is not fun. Oh, no. What's a kernel oh, security no. check failure? Uh, that's not a good thing. You need to run a goddamn antivirus. Kernels are, are bad things. That's another reason people don't like uh, Tencent, which is the company that's going to be publishing. Cause I'm not playing kernels. Pokemon Uray right on my computer, Gamma. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying that's the reason some people don't like Tencent is because they have some kernels in their games sometimes, and it's a huge security risk. You know, I was playing your thing when this loaded up, Gamma. Are you a security risk to me? Oh my god, it's not oh. my thing! Oh no! Mm -hmm. It's not my fault mm -hmm. you blue screened. Run a virus scanner. I mean, once it comes back, I don't. Yeah. That's, yeah, um, you have malware bytes, right? No, malware bytes is redundant. What do you mean it's redundant? I have Windows Defender. You fucking ding dong! It's better than Windows Defender. Windows Defender is slow. And Defender and, and malware bytes found the same things all the time. Yeah, but malware bites is more likely to find stuff. My dad told me to keep it. Mm. Slowed down my PC, and my PC sped up. <laughs> so, <sighs> all right. Oh, uh, well, now that noob is dead, uh, I guess this is just the the RGC. I, was I mean, he's to still here. He's just I don't know what you're in, talking about. Uh, Muffled. Muffled phone boy. Yes. Oh my God, that is the most unpleasing noise I've ever heard. <laughs> boy, howdy, that was the worst. Oh man. Uh, what what's happened this week that's not been shitty? Uh, Survivor, Animal Crossing, and Pokemon oh, Unite. Yeah. That I still don't uh, but yeah, Pokemon Unite looks fun. I'm gonna play it because it's free to start. People are getting upset over the fact that it's free to start. I'm assuming that means it's the same way as League is, but who knows? They could but try to monetize it in some fashion. No, but free to start sounds like you're gonna have to eventually pay to play the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sure hope that's League has always been free to play. Yeah, but you know League makes their money from cosmetics. Well, yeah, but that they're still a free to play game. They're not. They're not yeah. a free to start game. Okay, so free to play. Right. Free to start almost makes it sound like there's going to be like you're going to hit a wall and then yeah. you have to pay. Like um, that would be. Oh uh, no! Even Wizard One Hundred One isn't free to start. You have to pay to start the base game. Yeah. Really? Uh, no. Yep. Do you? Oh shit! I, believe it. I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure it's it pretty... just a subscription. Yeah, it's subscription or you pay per zone, which is what I used to do. Mm. My brother was 
he had a subscription that my dad hated it because it kept coming out like twelve fucking dollars a month. It's fucking ridiculous. Yep. That's almost as bad as fucking World of Warcraft. Probably is the same actually, I think, isn't it? World of Warcraft is twenty. Oh, damn, that's a lot of money. It Man, is. I never understood subscription based stuff. I can't I can't that's not it don't feel worth it twenty like you know, paying as I go with the game. You know? I don't know. No, I agree. It always that's turned me off. That's why I don't buy Game Passes or stuff like that. I understand I could pay a buck per month to play stuff, but there's no guarantee I'm going to play it. That's why I never did it. That's why I never became a WoW fan, because I never wanted to pay a subscription. Yeah, I tried it once. Uh, I uh, I played RuneScape, and I, I was a gold member for like two months, and then I'm like, I'm not going to keep paying $6 a month for something that I play not as often. Yeah, I think it depends a lot on how much time you anticipate spending on it. Yeah. Like, on the game. Man, or, I remember. Like, service or whatever. I was basically paying to steal from people. <laughs> what? So could, yeah. Like, you could steal from... and you had, you're, you had access to the thieving ability, if I remember correctly. Or the thieving skill. Uh, if you paid for membership. Uh... So I was always stealing from NPCs. <laughs> And then the guards would get mad, then I'd just run away, and then I would come back and start stealing from them again. It was really not, not, uh, what's the term? It was dumb. It wasn't well planned out. It wasn't worth the $6 a month? No. <laughs> it was either that, or I was fucking catching lobsters. Because apparently that's a thing. Oh. Lobsters are cool. Yeah, there was like this secluded island that had like a fuck ton of bananas and a pier for fishing. So I would just be catching lobsters because that was like where the money was at. And then I would sell I would I would bring a tinder box and some wood and I would sell fires for like a hundred GP and people would be like, I and I was like, Alright, cool. Good old Whatever makes models. the money. Yeah, exactly. The good money. Oh, man. All the good old days. MMO economies are so weird to me. Like, like it's... Same. Like, it's, it's really cool how it's like, okay, I need to find my niche in the market so I can make consistent money. And then you just stick with it. And, like, it might change over time as the game evolves, but, like, that's basically what it becomes. Yeah. It's almost like it's real life, isn't it? Back, basically, yeah. And it's it's really cool being like, okay, I'm gonna just spam cooking and then sell all these all this food for money, oh, or yeah. I'm gonna go out and go farm some mats for money because people will always need these to make potions or stuff like that. Exactly. No, I feel you on that. There was like that reminds me of another thing. There was like a uh, a. Uh a wine or something that people needed for like potions or whatever mm -hmm. and it was behind some bars so you had to be like a mage with the the, the teleport ability like you teleport stuff to you so i would just i would just uh there's like one that would respawn every like minute or so and there's like 10 other people trying to get it before <laughs> you did oh, no. so i would sit there trying to teleport the the the, the what you the wine to me and it, it was just a mess <laughs> That sounds awful. Yeah, it was. I remember the first money-making scheme I had, actually, when my friend introduced me to RuneScape. He's like, kill all the cows in this pen <gasps> and get and sell the leather, because it's good money, and it was good money, and I was not rich, but I was... I had a couple dollar uh, gold, gold pieces. More than the usual person. Wait, um, cows in a pen? So these yeah. cows belong to someone? Oh yeah, they're they just they keep respawning. It's okay, it's fine. Just murder <laughs> the cows, the the baby cows, all that stuff. You oh still get God. the cow hide. It don't matter. Oh no. <laughs> yep. You sell that for people buying it because they want to make leather shit, and then they make leather shit, and then they sell the leather shit to people who want the leather shit. And it's just it's just a vicious cycle. Economy. Yep. Ooh. Um. 
yeah, I never got it either. Hmm. I never got economy either. I mean, I get how it works, but I just find it super funny. Also, my computer's frozen again. Again? Wait, did you restart it and now it's frozen again? Yep. Like nothing's uh, nothing's working. That's fucking. Uh, oh no. <laughs> well, this isn't good right before my vacation. Yeah. No. It's not. Oh, 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 oh. But, yeah. Hey, it got through its freeze like it usually does. Yeah. Wait, wait, did it just boot up and then it was frozen? No, I've been here for a while. Can't you hear the difference? The difference. Um, I can hear it now, yes. Yeah, you are less muffled. Thank you. It's because I'm using a mic. Uh, I guess. Whoa. Yeah, I never I never did anything wild in, in games. Like Maple Story was the only MMO where I really tried to do an economic exchange by using events, event items. But the thing is to get the best event items, you had to spend money on it to get more in-game currency, which was like, that's the dumbest system I've ever heard of. So no. And I essentially just tried to grind up a bunch and play the game as intended. <laughs> Even though I said that before and people are like, well, no, the intended way is to make an economy. And I go, you're right, but I'm actually playing it like literally as intended. Like if I was playing, I'm basically playing an MMO as a single player game. So yeah, I'm not playing the game as intended, but I also didn't want to go up to random people and be like, hey, I got this uh, teddy bear for four million, four million polka or uh, or uh, what's it called? Maple bucks. So you want some maple bucks? Yeah. Yeah, this teddy bear gives you no stats, but it's cool. Hell yeah. You know, that sort of thing. I just never got it. I yeah. think I've always fallen into selling like practical items because people generally always need those. And then I save the money and then buy my high level gear because I don't have the patience nor the uh the items generally to raise my drop rate so the items will practically drop for me. I mean, yeah, they do it on purpose. They do that on purpose so that you will pay into it, right? It's 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 that moral dilemma when you jump into an MMO where to get the highest stuff. I'm not saying if it's complete if it's completely walled by money, screw those games. I don't like those games. If it's just like a super low chance to get something, you 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 come to that crossroads where it's either you spend potentially hundreds mm -hmm. of hours trying to find one of like six of good quality. Uh, no less. So like one of six pieces of equipment that you need, that's like one of four qualities. Or you just pay two bucks, right? You do that for all the pieces, you end up paying 12 bucks to get the good piece of equipment. That'll last you for like 20 levels and then you have to do it again, right? So that's that's how they make their money off of it. And that's why the economy is so freaking important um, when they talk about, you know, Minecraft economy or Minecraft economy. It loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Minecraft economy. <laughs> You know, Pixelmon economy is pretty big. You know that. Um, but in MMO economy, that's that's why it gets so wild. But I just realized there was a game, I believe, that's free to start. I think Archeage was free to start because I played it for free. And then once they put a subscription on, I stopped playing it. I think that's what free to start usually means, right? Yeah, usually. Like, yeah. I know Toontown was effectively free to start. Like, you could still play in like the the beginning area with people if you wanted to without a membership but like you couldn't get all like all the i mean you could you could go you could visit the other uh areas but you couldn't actually like progress through the game mm. yeah i mean <sighs> Who knows what what free to start actually like? I mean, I, I I never actually decided to look up what free to start means in most companies' eyes. I just hope that even if it goes the way of Arcage, because I enjoyed Arcage beyond all imagination before they put a price on it. Even though mm -hmm. that's how like one of the ways that my ex cheated on me with it. But uh, when when I played it, it was it was pretty good because that's one of the games. Where it was like it's it's similar to Black Desert Online, where it's incredibly open on the way that you can play it. You could just literally play Black Desert Online. To, to AFK fish all day, right? Like, that's how you can play the game. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just sit in the main town and just AFK fish all day. And that's super cool. Archeage had a similar system where, like, you could go out and do raids or you could just become a merchant, right? You could just go grab equipment or grab materials and just set up a shop and just literally play it like Moonlighter, 
So it's it's it was a really cool system. It was all obviously uh, real time stuff. Like I like I said about that story of the the pirate that waited for for me to wait for a tree to grow for four hours, and he slaughtered me the moment I went for it. Mm. Um, but like, what's it called? But yeah, like it was super cool. And then they started charging for a subscription. I'm like, well, okay, well, it's not that cool. It's hard on my computer too. So, but I was never going to pay a subscription. It's just I never see a point in paying. Sub- I'd rather just buy a game like Guild Wars Two, right? I bought Guild Wars Two when they were actually charging for it, and now it's free. To, it's it's free to play. Like if it goes that way, that's whatever, right? Because if you ch- if you pay, you just hope that that's going to help out the game to become fantastic, right? But going the other way where it's like free and then. Well, yeah, we're going to make you start paying for it. Depends. If I literally have to pay to play the game, no, forget that. If it's designed to play free, that means that they could have kept it free and microtransactions could make them a lot of money, but it depends on how they're going to do it. So we'll see. I'm I'm super excited because they kept the game feeling like a Pokemon game where you have to like kill other Pokemon to... Uh, to level up and it's like capture a flag and very, very, it feels very Nintendo. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like a Nintendo game, a Nintendo style game. And it's PVE into PVP, which is super cool. And I don't know. It's just like, I, I like the way that they designed Pokemon unite. Cause I apparently went there after MMOs, uh, but I don't know. Just, it just, it feels like they, they've done a good job. And am I allowed to yell at people? Gamma. Go for it. Thank God. Everybody shut the fuck up about Sinnoh Remake not coming out. Shut up. No, no but oh they promised a big, they promised a big reveal and they, they did. gave us Pokemon League. It but was supposed is... to be the remakes of Gen 4 or Let's Go Johto and I'm really upset because I thought that's what it was going to be and it wasn't and I'm really mad. But you know what? Somebody brought up a good point. Because I was watching people bash this, they, they someone brought that good point up where literally they said it was not going to be a main series game they were going to be announcing. I'm going off of what somebody said online, who who I take for reputable information with that. But I looked at them like, you know what? Yeah, they never said it was going to be a big name game. Like, why would they just they? Said exactly? Why would what? they do that when fucking they still have DLC for Pokemon Shield? Exactly. So it makes sense, right? Like, why would they... There's no way. People are always... Like, people are nonstop ranting about, Ooh, they only take a year to make a game! And then they're like, But at the same time, can you come up with a really good game that we really want in a year from now? Like, come on! Oh my god! You say the MOBA community is ridiculous. I think putting a MOBA to the Pokemon community is literally lighting a keg on fire in the middle of a goddamn volcano. Like, how fucking privileged can you be as a gamer? Sorry, I had to. Like, it's just, it's, it's so obnoxious. It's really obnoxious. I was actually talking about this in someone's chat earlier where they were saying like, um, they don't know if Pokemon Unite will go over with the, or like many people are pissed and they hope that Nintendo or whoever's involved with it will take extra time to make the game the best as could. I'm like, but there's nothing to make good. It's an alpha picture. It was an alpha video. Like they literally showed you a concept. That's like saying, I bring you a sketch of my board game and you say it's trash without seeing it played. Like, it's like you're burning it down on conception. You haven't even seen a pro- like a, a finished product yet. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, but it was supposed to be Sinnoh Remix, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> like, it really, really pisses me off that this happens because I feel bad because nobody realizes this is actually so, so promising that they're willing to go one into a competitive scene, right? Like this could be made into a competitive game if people pay into it and get excited because you know there's going to be some form of it, right? Even if it's not successful, it could go the way of Hots where like it had a year or two of it, right? It doesn't have to be like the next best thing. I bet you they're not going for the next best thing. Otherwise, they would make a clone that everyone they know will play it. But Mm -hmm. like the fact that they've decided to make this game or support this game that brings a brand new feel to a game that we all know and love, keep the same concepts of it and branch out into a new genre. Doesn't that make people more excited about what they could do in the future with an MMO and stuff like that? Like this is promising. I think it's promising. 
I know you didn't get what you wanted, but Pokemon players never get what they want. And then when they get what they want, they just bitch about it anyways. Shout out to people sending death threats over Sword and Shield. Like, how goddamn... <sighs> you know what? I'm going to say something Pokemon controversial. Go. Do it, do it, do I it. I don't really want a remake of Sinnoh because it wasn't that good. Ooh, Got that's, that's a take. Okay, continue. Uh, that's it, that's it, that's all I have. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any facts to line to to, to follow that up. This is a, this is an opinion podcast. We never claim to know what we're talking about here, but you know what, Gamma? Mm-hmm. Literally, tell me what makes it that you because because what my art what we were talking about in my stream was literally the reason why people would want to see a remake is so to fix the issues of the speed and and make it better. But why do you think it's bad enough that it wouldn't even deserve a remake with it? Like, what's the point though? That's the thing. Like, I don't get the point of remaking it. It's not like at this point, they might as well just remake Gen 5. Fuck it. Who knows? It's just story that people want then at that point. It's not even the game, because the mechanics would be the same exact fucking thing as the newest games. Yeah. Plus, do you really want Rock Slide as a fucking HM again? Is that... Is that... Rock Climb? Rock... Yeah, Climb, whatever. That's... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would like to ri- I would like to do it like they we did in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon where I can ride like a Steelix up the a side of a mountain. That'd be friggin' cool. And then I could use explosion. Fuck. Rip my grades. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Is see that's that how my grades died. Yeah, explosion Steelix. Apparently it's oh. like it can learn it from Gen 1 as a TM from Onyx, and I'm like, okay. Okay, whatever. So you bullshitted. Cool. That's awesome. It's still bullshit. <laughs> that sounds like garbage. It was garbage. It's straight booty bay garbage. I cried. We all cried as when the run died. We super and four hours grinding up the new team, just knowing like I'm gonna walk in there, I'm gonna get destroyed because I have a mag cargo as a carry. Chat knows what they did. They got what they deserved. 44,000 new bits. <laughs> Could have been 60. Could've. You burned down something good. No, you see, like, that's what I said about Gen 4, too. I'm like, like with Gen 4, Gen 4 was good, right? Like, I, I, I rag on it, but I rag on it because it's my least favorite because of the, again, the, and I've said this multiple times, we talked Gen 4. Just the, just the absolute disappointment I had going from a GBA to a DS game where my where my expectations were admittedly incredibly high, and then it just got shit on, right? Where it's just like there's a slow, clunky game, like the mechanics are all here, but it feels half-finished, and then Gen 5 comes along, and I'm like, how the hell did we not just have Gen 4 like Gen 5? I would have waited two more years for Gen 4 to feel like Gen 5, right? So to remake it would just feel forced to me at this point, be like, yeah, we're just going to do it because we did it for Gen 1 to 3. I'm like, but Gen 4 is a complete game, right? Gen 1 and 2, 3 were complete games, but they had a lot more room to make it good and and like make them better. Gen 4 is as good as it's going to get, in my opinion. And making a fancy distortion world as cool as that would be, I feel like that's all you're going to do, right? We're just going to have Gen 8 mechanics again, like we did with with uh, with Auras. It's like, oh, good, Gen 6 in a Gen 3 game. Okay. Neat. Right? Like, it's, I don't know. It just, it doesn't... I don't think it's necessary. I, I like... I'm fine with just Gen 4 remaining as Gen 4. Not to be like a, a shit reminder that Gen 4 was a disappointment for some. It's more like a I don't know what more you could do to to push the Gen 4 agenda because there's nothing to like give a sequel. I don't know. Just do something that's not a remake. You know what I mean? That would be nice for Barry. It would be. I think sequels just something. be better. Yeah. Like what happens with Cynthia after and like everyone just goes to the world championship. What happens between Gen 4 and 5? I know they're in different regions, but there's clearly some crossovers because Fire Red and Leaf Green to Heart Gold and Soul Silver. We had the whole story of Giovanni being developed, right? Like all of these things are connected in some way. And now we know that Giovanni can time travel. Like what the hell's happening in between these games? Come on, feed us. You want story, that story, not like, oh, look, let's go beat up Gardenia again. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Wait, Giovanni time travels? Yeah. Wait, what? In Gen 7, he, he travels between dimensions using Hoopa's Oh, uh, right, right, right. I forgot. Does he for- time travel in... in pocket was it? Does he time travel in Heart Gold Soul Silver? <laughs> no, um, he hides away and then... Because we, we actually just did this for the Pokemon Monthly where I was asking questions about it. I looked it up. So he... 
no, Celebi sends you through time travel. And yeah. then she shows, or like Celebi shows you three years later how uh, Giovanni's actually hiding. And he hears the radio message from Archer sending it out of the radio tower, calling them for the, for them to come back. And then you stop him. You stop them basically from coming back, which is super cool. Like huh. do more of that. Like literally take the end game of ultra sun and ultra moon, the rainbow rocket section and do that for gen four, five and six. Like, let's go back to AZ. What the hell happened to AZ? Like, why did we never get the fucking the floor just, or not? Yeah. Floor, like floor where's just... he, where's flow at eternal? Yeah, that. Where's Flo? Like, there's so much unfinished, but people want remakes. I'm like, no. If you want to, pu- if you want to be a pain in the ass and push Pokemon to do better, push for that shit. Like, push for all these half stories that are not complete. Like, literally, ah, I could talk about this for hours. I could make my own podcast talk about this for hours about the things that I love about Pokemon and the stuff that could just be completed. I can give them like 30 more years of games to do. There's so much. Like, there's literally so much. Yeah. yeah. Stop me. Okay, stop. Okay. <laughs> <At all. laughs> that was easy. I listen. Yeah. I don't I don't want to be the star. I don't want to be the only star of the show here. We're all stars. We're all we I all have mean, valid opinions. Fine. <laughs> this kid paid out more money than a doctor. What the fuck? She robbed the doctor? I'm confused. <laughs> Pick some one. Oh. Um <laughs> so yeah. Uh, that was Pokemon Unite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Look, it's we gotta wait. We haven't seen anything about it. We just got We have to wait to see what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's I'm, all. I'm gonna play it either way. I don't know. Of if course. I'm gonna buy it if I pay for anything. No. But, you know, it's not like they're making me buy a game. You know, like yeah. it's not like, hey, you need to buy this, or we'll stab you in the kidney, and then I'll be like, oh, but. <laughs> Like if it becomes because kidney. kidneys are easy to stab, duh. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like if they go the way of Hearthstone's battleground arenas, I don't know if you know about like Hearthstone's auto chess. Um, but like what you could do is you could play the game, you could play battlegrounds, or you could pay and because or, or when they said you get one random Pokemon that you play with. Um, if they do something like Hearthstone's Battlegrounds, where literally you can pay a certain amount, and instead of choosing between two heroes in that game, you could choose between three, right? So if they did that in Pokemon, where it's like, instead of just getting one random, you could choose between two, so you could be more competitive and just end up in better matchups. That's whatever. Like, that's really whatever. If you're, if you're serious about playing it, then you'll pay it. But if you're just there to, to mess around with the game, Whatever, you get whatever Pokemon you want. They're all cool. They're all Gen 1, except for Talonflame and Lucario, which is another thing that people shouldn't be complaining about. But, of course they are. But, um, like, if it's just that kind of no longer free to start, like, whatever. Who cares? Play the goddamn game or don't like it. If you don't like it, you could say that, but don't rag on people who do, or don't just rag on Nintendo being like, oh, look at you making a good smart move, going into a, a area that can make you a lot of money. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. Sinnoh yeah. Remake would have made a lot of money. No, because people are still playing Sword and Shield, dumbass. <laughs> like, we're not done with this game yet. I mean, they would make a lot of money off a of Sinnoh Remake, but I don't think it'd be as good if they released it today. That's my oh. five cents and my seething anger for a Pokemon community. Look, I read I only I only talk shit about the Pokemon community because the Pokemon community thinks they're a bunch of angels. And you're not. You're really not. We're we're assholes. How dare you? How we are dare you? we we are privileged assholes in the gaming community. We are. How dare Look, we're you? privileged right now yelling at other privileged people. Oh yeah. Um yeah. That's really <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna stop talking for the next thirty minutes. Raz, go, huh? No, goddamn it! Oh, thirty God. minutes. I need, I need, I need a good refractory time. That, that's <laughs> a long time. <laughs> what? You can't carry a conversation for thirty minutes? I know I can't. I mean, you the do, only though. thing interesting I have to say is that I finally ate pizza after like three months. 
What? Oh, I've been craving pizza for three months and I finally <laughs> had it. It's a disappointment because it was just oh. Costco pepperoni pizza. And I'm really sad. Oh, no. Me. You just said the word that I. Uh, pepperoni. Uh... But you didn't have to put it on the thing, so it's not that bad. Yeah, but you gotta sit there picking away <laughs> oh, no. fucking pepperoni, putting it all on the fucking pizza while there's seven other pizzas on the on the order board and and then they're like why are you taking so long and you're like because i can't rip the pepperoni apart it's stuck it's been sitting here for days you know gamma every time you say that you know what you remind me of you remind me of that grandparent you go to where they talk about how they had to walk through 10 feet of snow uphill both ways to go to school that's what it's starting to feel like well, every time we order pepperoni pizza, I have to rip apart at least seven pieces of salami. Both sides have to place them evenly about four centimeters apart per because people will identify the radial distance between the circumference of my pizza. <laughs> Man, fucking pepperoni pizzas have scarred me. I will not. I will never make somebody make a pepperoni pizza ever again. Okay, what if we get a Canadian meat lover, though, when you come over? It does have pepperoni, but it has, like, more... We can ask for no pepperoni. We can replace it with Italian salami if you want. That's what they usually do. You know what? I gotta say something. Meat lover pizzas? Why? Why you gotta... There's so much fucking grease on them afterwards, and then you complain about it being greasy like you fucking dolts. Oh, they're Pokemon players, too, I see. No, they're (laughs) Danish pizza fans, apparently. But I guess it's the same thing at this point. <laughs> oh no. Damn, we're never getting any sponsors. Man, I had this one order recently. He keeps ordering the same fucking thing. Like, you know how you can put notes in the pe- in uh like what you yep. for the pizza? Mm-hmm. This one guy keeps putting in fucking uh please put extra, 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 extra cheese. What does that mean? He Okay, like, so actually yeah. that many yeah. Like six extra orders? Yeah, so we have the option for ordering extra cheese, and it's extra money, of course, because cheese costs money. So so he only orders one thing of extra cheese, which, by the way, you can pay for extra, 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 extra cheese. Uh-huh. But he just writes it in thinking he can get it for free. Oh. oh no! So far, we have not given him more than one serving of extra cheese, and he <laughs> has not complained because he's fucking stupid. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. That's so dumb. And That's he still continues hilarious. to do extra, extra, extra cheese every time it fucking pops up. I'm like, I go to my manager's like, it's this motherfucker again, and she's like, yep, you know what to do, and I'm like, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Also, fuck y'all motherfuckers ordering triple extra pepperoni, you fucking <laughs> assholes. Oh no! I'm literally like shingling a fucking pizza with pepperoni at that point. <laughs> yeah, just for the future for your future home, dude. Yeah, no, fucking for like, you gotta, home. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta take the pepperoni and then put another pepperoni on like three fourths of it, and then you just gotta keep going. And go in until you run out of pepperoni, and then you gotta go to the refrigerator and get more pepperoni. And then you gotta put the pepperoni on the pizza, and then you gotta cry yourself to sleep that night. Gamma going home to his prison cell, attaching the ball and chain as he drags his way to the fridge to grab the pepperoni. Yeah, basically. (laughs) He's got like a rat eating his shin. (laughs) Walking to the refrigerator is a pain in the ass because I gotta do it so fucking often. Like, every order, if there's, like, a hand-tossed pizza, I gotta go to the fridge, pick up the pizza, the dough, and then you're like, all right, I gotta do the fucking dough. And then you gotta remember all the other things. Oh, they wanted a cinnamon bun. Oh, no, they wanted a fucking cookie. Who oh, goes to pizza not? for a cinnamon bun? What? Well, we, ha- we have actual Cinnabon Cinnabons, like mini Cinnabons. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's like five bucks. It's, it's actually kind of worth it. Because they're fucking delicious, and they come with icing and shit. But yeah, those are those are. We, the, everything comes in frozen, and then we just like. Yeah, I'm well aware. We we set them up, and then we throw them in the fridge, and then they temper out, and then and then we throw them in the oven, and they bake. Man, did you know, garlic knots are just breadsticks that are 
wrapped around a piece of fucking mozzarella string cheese. I mean, it that's doesn't it surprise is. me. That really I mean, doesn't surprise sense. me. It makes sense when you think about <coughs> it. Fucking, they're pretty good too, especially when you douse them in fucking garlic butter and Parmesan parsley mix dealio. I <sighs> love cheese. Dude, same. This is great. I'm not gonna lie. I, I once in a while the stuffed crust cheese, I take one and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna eat some string cheese and I eat some string cheese and then my manager does it. Okay, but nice. I like non plastic cheese, I'm just saying. Like it's not plastic. It's actually pretty um plastic. No, it's it's really not. It's like plastic. It's legit what the fuck? <sighs> Is it actually like? Is it actually like? It's good quality cheese. Okay. I, I gotta say, it's not like plastic shit you get from the fucking store where it's in a pack and you rip open the plastic, and then you fucking bite into it because you're a fucking monster. I uh, hey 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 okay nobody taught me how to eat string cheese. Wait, are you one of those two? I was yeah. referencing one of my friends. You knew this. We talked about this at TPA a long time ago. Oh, right? yeah. Who pulls out the bl- the, the string, the... the, the yeah, the, and then the pull fucking string. bites into just it. Just eat half of it. I just bite into it. What? You're supposed to pull it apart. You no, see, animal. that's what the system tells you to do, Gamma. I, I'm against the system. I'm a rebel. I just eat that it's thing like an actual the- piece of cheese. It's on the fucking packaging, noob. Do you do everything that they tell you, Gamma? Because that's how they make a good drone out of you, Gamma. There's a fucking cheese stick, man. And he's, like, <laughs> ripping himself apart. You're supposed to do that. Otherwise, they don't get into cheese, cheese man. man heaven. I just want to consume what? cheese stick, man. I don't want him to just what? die in bits. You said cheese stick in heaven? What? Yeah, if, they don't, if you don't eat the cheese stick right, they don't, get, they don't go to cheese stick heaven when they die. <laughs> What the fuck? Who thinks of this? It's like it's like purgatory. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cheese stick purgatory? What? Yeah, all all the cheese sticks that show up there are bitten right into. Yikes! Those poor fucking cheese sticks. So do I? Do I put down when I do the review? Do I put down we talked about cheese or do we talk about cheese stick purgatory? Uh, the latter. String che- well, it's technically it's string cheese purgatory. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know all cheeses weren't equal when it goes when it comes to heavenly redemption. <laughs> mm. Yeah, and Drink. I'm surprised I'm not completely sick of pizza yet. Cheese, because I still Drink. keep getting these free pizzas. Because actually, recently uh, we we have uh, Uber Eats integrated with our system now, and we have our delivery, which is kind of fucked because our delivery people don't get as much business anyway. Right. Now we're just taking more business from them so they can't get pay, uh, tips or whatever. Capitalism! Yeah, so, like, mm. we have that. And the past, like, two weeks, we've been getting a bunch of orders from Uber, and they're all paid, but the Uber driver never shows up. Oh. <laughs> what? So at the end of the night, we got a fuck ton of pizza, and the manager's <sighs> like, well, I gotta throw this out and, or, or take it home. Somebody, fuck. It's a waste of pizza. I thought you weren't allowed to take some stuff home. I mean, if if it's going in the trash, we're allowed to. Uh... Unless somebody touched it, then they don't want a chance us oh getting cooties. Oh my foodies. god. I mean, I understand during COVID times, but even before that, like, if nobody literally... Oh, like, yeah, you shouldn't be touching that. the pizza poorly anyways. No, it's like... Sh- okay, there's this one... There was this one situation where somebody's like... We, we show them the pizza, and they're like, I'm not eating that. Because it's got, like, one little, like, explosion part where the sauce came out because they ordered extra sauce because they're fucking uh-huh. stupid. Uh-huh. Um, so, like, I'm not eating that. And my manager's like, well, are we, I guess we can remake it if you want. So then we remade it, and they're like, yep, that's perfect. It was literally the same fucking thing. It's so fucking stupid. And they brought the pizza back, and, and we're like, what's wrong with the pizza? It's, apparently the fucking person poked their finger in it to point out where the fucking the burst of fucking small ass tomato sauce was. Ew. So oh, we just no. tossed the motherfucker. Yeah, I'm not even pizza fucking with waste. Finger stuck in it. It's fucking gross. No, no, obviously, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a fucking waste. Goddamn straight it is. People are so fucking ignorant. It's so stupid. Food is expendable. Durr. Oh my god, there was I did I tell you about the night we had to throw away a fuck ton of dough? No. Oh my god. Okay, so 
we're only supposed to have dough for a certain amount of time, um, which is understandable because mm-hmm. uh, it starts getting crusty and gross. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I go in one night to dishwash and my manager's like, yeah, we're throwing away all this dough. And I'm like, what? What? Why? Oh, the big guys are going to be here and they don't want anything uh, in the fridge that is half of what the like the day day it's like two days if anything's been in there for a day they want all brand new dough and what I'm like, what it's bread have, have you seen our fucking refrigerator oh my god so the day before everybody did their prep work and then we proofed all the dough uh-huh. mm-hmm. and that's supposed to last us that day and the next if we need to obviously we use the older stuff first mm-hmm. but no we have to throw away fucking carts full of dough because it's proofed and the 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 higher ups are coming and literally i got so fucking sick throwing away this dough because we could have literally cooked it and gave it to like homeless people or something it's it, it was fucking ridiculous i was so mad plus i had to wash all the pans so that was even worse that is infuriating though i know it's it, like yeah this food who, is just gone now yeah, exactly. As somebody who has had uh, troubles like that before and could have used it at one point, it it's fucked up that we couldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Oh man, that that sucked. That was that was the worst. I hated that. I was so mad. So was the uh, the other cook because he's like he he was actually homeless for a while, and I'm like, oh man, I feel that we were just both upset. Fuck, man. Don't waste your pizza, assholes. I mean, that used to happen all the time. My girlfriend's Tim Hortons, too. Yeah. Where, um... This food and beverage. Yeah. But, I mean, like, what happened with this was... Like, if they make a mistake, I'm like, yeah, I get it, because they touch and you have no idea what they have. So, sure, that becomes an obvious problem. But, like, I remember this one time, because I used to hang out there when I would go to fitness. I'd just pass by her place and, like, order lunch. There was one time they made a, they made a bagel, and... Uh-huh. They wanted a they wanted a butter a buttered bagel. So I'm like, okay. She's like, okay, yeah. So they make it, and the person made a mistake. They put cream cheese on it. So they show it. the The woman picks it up, doesn't even unwrap it, but she sees the cream cheese through the package, and she goes, "Oh, you gave me cream cheese." And they go, "Oh, okay, sorry." And they just put the they put the bagel down on the side. They make a real bagel, and then I look at my girlfriend, and she's carrying the cream cheese completely untouched bagel, other than the package, over to the garbage can. So I run up. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I have to toss this. I go, why? Nothing was touched. She goes, well, she touched the package. I go, so get rid of the package and give me the bagel. <laughs> like, that's such a fucking, no, but like, because it's, it's such a waste. <laughs> no, I know. That's why like, I'm, I'm she like. Didn't even touch the, she didn't even touch the food. But even if the package is touched, it has to be tossed. I'm like, that's ludicrous. Yeah. Some that's places disgusting. Are some places are actually fucked with that. And if you want me to pay for it, I'd rather pay for it than for you to fucking throw it out. That's just because you already paid for a bagel. You making the mistake, that's your costs. So, like, why why just be super, you know, jackass capitalist about it when they make the mistake? Like, when you make a mistake on a product, you make another product for the same value. It becomes a two-for-one, but it's really just a one-for-one because you messed up. So that's your fault for making that mistake. But if it's something like food... And it like all they did was touch the package. I'll take that risk. I'd rather not see that food go to waste. Like if she had put her hand on the bagel, yeah, toss it. I can't risk that, right? But like, come on, the package. The package is already dirty. They, I've, I've been in kinesiology classes. You know what you're not supposed to do? You know the people who put the fries in the bottom of their bags. You should not be doing that. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, Gam, I'm about to disgust you. Okay, so you know how people like, I, I'm sure you guys do this, where you take, instead of keeping the, the, the fries in, the, in the, the cardboard covers that they come in, you just pour it into your bag so it's easier to carry. You just eat out of I the bag. I have never I done have that. no idea really? what you're talking about. Why? Really? I don't think it's a Canadian thing, but okay. You okay, either way. In the bag? What's that? Why would you dump them? We put because them it's easier to carry the bags. You don't, like, you could just toss the cardboard and just keep everything in the bag. What because they spill out because they spill out anyways. Because like, what you could do, what people do is they actually rip. This is smart. They rip the bag open and just turn it into its own plate. 
and then they can put like the, yeah. the ketchup on it and stuff of like that. So it makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. It's I actually have no smart. idea what you're going on about. What the fuck? Okay, so Gamma, what are your fries yeah. coming? What are your fries coming? A plastic container. Okay, so we have it in an open, like a, a top open cardboard container here, right? We don't have it in a thing that flips open and has a lid or anything. It's just basically almost like a. Actually, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you've had to see something like this. I, I'm, I'm guessing. I, I think I can assume from what you were saying, it's like a bowl with no top. Uh no. I'm not, okay, what do you? You know, like what chicken nuggets come in? Like if it's if they're standing up or like frickles. What? Oh, you mean like the little like. Uh, the cone looking thing? Yeah, those things. That's where our fries come in here. Okay. Also, why won't my Google open? Oh, God. Why? But basically... Google it. That's fine. I'm just concerned that's not open to begin with. <laughs> but, um... Those are in the bag. That's stupid. But the thing is, it's, it's just what people do, because, again, you don't have to take an extra... You don't have to take an extra napkin to pour your ketchup on it, or if you don't want to pour it directly onto your fries, they just use the bag, right? But a lot of people do it. What's disgusting about it is we looked at studies, and I don't remember the exact numbers, but I can tell you right now, um, there are bags that sit in fast food restaurants for literally like weeks on end before they get used because those don't have oh, to yeah. be tossed. And mm-hmm. there is an incredible amount of dust that collects in the bag, but you don't see it, right? You don't, because you don't see it because it doesn't get that, like if it gets that dust, it'll toss it. But yeah, the thing is the number of the amount of dirt and dust that gets picked up and kept in these bags mm-hmm. is like to the levels where it can actually make you sick eating out of the bag. That's why I don't, t- I used to eat fries out of the bag. Now I just, like I didn't pour them all in the bag, but like if, if you have like that, as as was called by one uh, comedian, the Jesus fry, like the blessed fry, that's like oh, an extra fry that didn't make it in the container. Like I don't touch those anymore. Mm-hmm. If it touches the bag, I don't touch it after seeing the studies because like they showed us, like they cleaned one in front of us and I'm like, oh, I don't want them even to use bags. I don't even want them using containers. Like I, like, I just wanted them to give me the burger straight from their, from their gloved hands because <laughs> it's crazy. so gross, man. It's nasty. That's insane. It's nasty. You know, that's not that's necessarily. Nasty. That's not always the case, though. Like not always the case. No, but to like containers and stuff. It's if that's the case, it's because there's a bad fucking manager who doesn't know how to order fucking uh, uh, bags because they get shipments of everything for like at least once a week. Yes, and they could be ordering enough to not have to fucking use the same bags for like three months. You know. Well, yeah, because I think what ends up happening is it's like overstock. So what I generally do is if I see, like, I don't remember exactly how to do this, but like, if I see that they have a giant pile of bags in the back, then I'm like, okay, they're regularly stocking. But if I see the stock gets low, I'm like, oh God, I have one of those bags that may have been sitting there for a long time and they just haven't ordered lately. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because yeah. they can over, they can also overstock, like no matter what, either way, it's bad because if they overstock, you won't really know until... You actually work there, I guess. But like, yeah. like it's like I I get very paranoid when it comes to the to the containers now. Like I don't even eat out much anymore, mainly because of COVID. But like it it really grosses me out. I mean, I've had times where I've had like random pieces of food that are not from my burger in my in my burger package, and I'm just what? like like how the hell is this allowed? This it's yeah. Like I've had um like a piece of bacon just in, chilling in the bag, just chilling. No, not even my bag in my burger container. And I'm like, but I ordered a quarter pounder with cheese that doesn't have bacon in it. How did a piece of bacon get in here? Like, that's, like, I don't care because the thing is, that's not part of what I ordered. That's gross. That's not a bonus. Like, I don't know what that, that could have fallen off of someone else's burger they were eating in the back. That could have fallen off a piece of, of food that's supposed to go to someone else. Like, who knows where that's supposed to be on or where it came from. It could have been on the bottom of another bag. Like, it's oh. so gross. Oh, uh, though I got a story for you that's not actually from my place. Uh, so fast food, well, fa- kind of fast food pizza places, they always mm-hmm. have these pans that they prep the dough for. Mm-hmm. And every time you, you know, they use the pan, they reuse the pans, obviously. Mm-hmm. So they throw them through the, the dishwash. And sometimes they have lazy fucking dishwashers. Oh. You ever notice how there's like little like uh, black specks on the crust? Or on the side of the crust, if you were to go to the or something. Gamma, what are they? Uh, they are leftover dough 
from cooked pizzas because they didn't wash the fucking pan uh, good. Wait, if you see black specks on what? Uh, have you ever like like little like little extra? It looks like extra pizza. Like it's not part of that pizza. I don't. Like on the crust, yes. a little bit under. Next time you order a pizza from like Domino's or something, mm-hmm. look at the pizza crust a little bit under just to see. Because those are the parts that don't get cleaned good. Oh no. And if they if there's nothing there, then you got a good, you know, dishwasher at that place. <sighs> well, yeah. I guess all of my dishwashers are terrible in my area because ours are like littered in black specks. Black specks and extra looking crust. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna lie. There's this one, we had a really shitty uh, dishwasher at one point. So before we actually like, I would when I was prepping stuff, I would make sure that the, the things were clean. There was one time that there was basically half a fucking pizza still on the pan. What? And I go to my manager and I'm like, what the fuck is this? (laughs) And she's like, that's the that's the that's the dishwasher getting fired. That's what that is. What? You had to be fucking blind not to clean that shit off a fucking pan. Oh my god, dude. Speaking of dishwashing, I gotta go dishwash tonight. Um, Oh boy. Yeah. So yeah. They gotta make sure they scrape the pans that aren't fucking lazy. Otherwise, you get buy one get one pizzas like that. Oh man, man! Well, I, now that I've discussed never, it, everybody. I never want. I mean, I never wanted to eat out after hearing all this shit. Now I really just never want to eat out again. Uh, just, I mean, making all I know is my place is clean. Be cheaper. It's cheaper and better for you because you know you're putting in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then I could just order and have it delivered to my home. And I wouldn't have to cook anything. Stop throwing shit at me. I, I can't. My my audio drivers died halfway through your conversation. I'm just not having a good day with this. Fuck, dude. Oh. Keeps happening. Are you, are you running a, a virus scan? Yeah, I did. Nothing popped up. Yeah, but did you try running a full virus scan? Yep. That could not have finished that fast. Um, That's it's fucking been going for like 25 minutes. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> it's still going. So, But I mean, uh, the audio drivers crash at random times now anyways. The computer is slowly dying because it's not built for the stuff that I do. How long have you had it now? Three years? Four years? Uh... But I mean, this computer has done more than it's ever supposed to do. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I it's expected, right? This is This is why I need a specific, like, future when money is good. I want a streaming not- specific... PC and then a gaming apparatus for like all the times that I'm not streaming. Mm-hmm. I got super far in the future, but yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Well, now that we've grossed everybody out with horrible fast food tales, what was that other thing we were going to talk about in addition to Pokemon Unite? How um, uh... Pokemon players that complain. About Sinnoh remakes are the people who are not washing those dishes properly. You're the people leaving the you're the people leaving the specs on our pizza. Gross people. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> it may be small, but it's still fucking gross. Yo. You've been eating that this whole time. And it's not even just fast food places. I'm sure that every fucking place has issues with that at some point. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's very important to pay to be good dishwashers. What were we going to talk about? There was one other thing I can't remember. Fuck. Was it something that wasn't Assassin Grandma? Yeah. Oh, you're talking uh, about going on to the list? Huh? No, no, there was... We said two things when we talked about Pokemon Unite. We said Pokemon Unite and what else? Fuck. Did well, we back mention the it in the group chat? I don't think so. Possibly. Why would we make notes, Raz? That's for you. <laughs> wow. You don't fuck. remember this other thing you're supposed to talk about. Oh, I don't yeah, remember. You're, you're the note taker. Gamma, let's be real. She's the most responsible to take notes out of this. Well, three yeah, months. obviously, but still. But did we mention something? I, I, I don't know what he's talking about. Else. I swear we mentioned 
fucking Pokemon Unite and one other thing. Oh, we were talking about um. Oh crap! Uh, because the thing happened Thursday. What happened Thursday? Um, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because it happened last week. Uh, this happened Wednesday, and then on Thursday something else happened. What happened on Thursday? Oh my uh, god! The internet exploded. No, remember how? Well, we knew that, but um, oh my god! Was it Pokemon related or no? No, no. No, because remember Gamma was saying like, "Wow, it's already been a week, and two things happened in a, in a span of a week." With uh, with stuff. Oh my god, what is it? Oh my god, what is it? I don't is it remember. With Twitch stuff? Uh, or like. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I mean there's one there. On <laughs> Twitch is still on fire. Yeah. Gamma, what are the things were they talking about last week that was announced? I don't remember. Oh, fuck. We literally said it at the beginning of the podcast. I'm pretty yeah, sure. we did. Because oh you were confused. God. Talking about the times, it wasn't Animal Crossing, was it? No, it wasn't Animal. Oh Crossing. yeah, Animal Crossing Survivor. Survivor, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Animal Crossing Survivor? <laughs> yeah. So we 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 have a friend, Broken Blood Alive, who is hosting a Survivor themed uh, game show on fucking Animal Crossing, and we did that Thursday. And you're looking at two survivors and one loser. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to one winner. I won that day. For getting voted uh, off first. Yeah. You know? oh. no, one, no one can ever get voted off first again. This is true. Is this the Not real wrong. first place for losers? I don't understand. This is the place of winners, Gamma, because you survived and I got exactly what I wanted. I you literally all... voted myself out. I don't know how I didn't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Be- oh, no, no, no. You know what? You know who can tell you why we lost? Hey, Raz. Yeah. Hey, Raz. Um, yeah. Why don't you inform Gamma as to why he has to <laughs> suffer at least one more week with <laughs> y'all that could potentially be related to your actions? Oh yeah, I felt bad. So I Why? put it for noob. What? <laughs> I literally was crying. I was so I had given up hope because I felt bad. There was a fishing competition. Ever just the timer went off and the, the, the amount of fish you caught popped up on screen. Is like 21, 20, 18, 17, 19, and then fucking 9. 9. <laughs> people had 9. Because people kept rushing my fish away, and I'm also just really bad at Animal Crossing fishing. Yay, anxiety for making me pull that fucking bobber up too fast. That happened yeah. to me like several times. Honestly. Yeah, I lost my streak, and I'm sad. <laughs> I was on such a good streak again. That's that's gonna hunt me, that. haunt me forever. Oh, yeah, that was fun. That was a good time. No, it was fun, but um, he actually uh, cut out all the the dead air too. So there's yeah, the, like a bomb. I need to actually watch that. He cut out on dinner. What? No, he, he, he edited the all the uh, important stuff into a vod. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Basically. Yeah. Oh god, that's Thursday. <laughs> Like, yep. Yep. Enjoy! I'm gonna be on my channel playing Golden Sun The Lost Age Randomizer enjoying Ooh. life and bliss and not having to deal with salty assholes who want to bully other people instead of actually earning their victories. I mean, I, I earned fun. my victories so well. I, I, hmm? had fun though. I had fun though. It was, fun. Oh, it was very fun. Mm-hmm. Well, as a guy who does a bunch of events and would want to have a good result for people to, to like have fun within it. I am very pleased with Broken's work and I'm very happy to be a part of it. Even like I told him after, like, I'm sorry if it makes it sound like I'm just being this super like pissy, you know, rebellious. Yeah. I don't care if I lost and I just go to bed and sob, but, uh, which I didn't, by the way, I was, I was still dancing after the stream, but <clears throat> you know, no, it's very well organized. I can appreciate a good event that feels good when you play in it, no matter if you lose first. See, that's that's how you know when an event is good. When you when you lose and the people can like it might just be because I'm a good sport or a much better sport than I used to be, but 
like maybe it's just that or maybe it's like you know what i had enough fun during it or maybe not enough fun during it that i'm okay with leaving you know what i mean like I'm just happy I don't have to deal with Ox. I'll say that right here. You know what my confessional was? I read a piece of Julius Caesar. I saved it for the PGRC. Wait, that's I... what the... that's yeah. Yeah. It's an extra professional, and we're all sitting in the room. And then I, I forgot who it was. But someone was like, "Yeah, he's just out here like saying Shakespeare." And just, I'm just like, "What?" And I heard pineapple on pizza, and I was like. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what's going on. I'll probably figure it out at some point, and then I just stopped listening because I was like, I don't know where this is going. Wait, you know what's happening? What's the point of the confessional when you're all in broken chat listening to any or to me? It's oh my god! You're streaming. It's because god you're damn streaming. it! God damn it! <laughs> uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching, but come on, it's a confessional. Stop at, stop listening for like five minutes. <laughs> No, no, I literally, hear that, right? as I was waiting for whoever to finish first, I was just looking up, okay, what would be a really good quote to say from Shakespeare? And oh I just found this God. piece of Julius Caesar, and it ended up adding up to what I wanted to say. And then I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to make this my platform where I just say pineapple on pizza is great. And like all the controversial stuff that people generally hate on and just recite Shakespeare. And then afterwards, I don't know if you heard, but I was just like talking with Brooke. I'm like, hey man, how's the event going? I just sat in there just hanging out for a bit before I went back. No, literally all I heard was pineapple on pizza, and then I muted the stream again. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, I literally, like, I'm like, hey, bro, can you have a fun time? It's like, yeah, man, thanks for hanging out. I'm like, yeah, no, you're, you're welcome. We're just, we're, just, we're just shooting shit for, like, five minutes. Pretty good. <laughs> and then on my, um, on my farewell video, I was just, I'm just like, yeah, man. You can't take this away from me. I feel good. Uh, I'm just like organizing in my calendar when I have to come back. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, everybody's waiting to finish. I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to milk this. I'm just going to sit here for a while. Make it look like I'm really upset. and I'm shit talking people when really I'm not. I'm just like, I'm just like, yeah, July 23rd. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> See you later, dude. Mm -hmm. Dropped all my stuff at the door. Yeah. Uh, he showed me the events. It's gonna be wild, and I'm, I'm oh, perfectly boy. fine with it. Oh, oh boy. you, you, you know what? The TPA may be ripped apart after this. It's uh, it's gonna be uh. I mean, Ox fucked me over, so she fucked me over too. She blames yeah. it on me screwing her over when she screwed me over. Like I've never heard such deflective behavior than from her. Dude. Like, oh my god, it was ridiculous. She's like, he made me lose. I'm like, yeah, because you made me lose. You sick three people on me to steal my wood, you pieces <laughs> of shit. Like, I respect the strat, but god, that's so mean of you. Come on. Oh, but you're in Survivor to win. I hear you. And that's See, why I don't I like playing just, against friends anymore. I was just really surprised how, you know, all the trees in front of the resident services? Yeah. How everyone yeah. like there was no one there, and I was like, I was there. "This is free wood." <laughs> I was there. I went behind, Wait. and then Zappis starts following me. That's why I voted him off. He starts following me, yeah. and because I got stuck on the tree because of lag, he just kept pushing me out of the way and taking my wood. I'm like, "You're kidding me. This is not like I knew he was doing it." So I'm like, "Okay, I'm gonna be smart about it. Mix up the number of trees that I hit at once." But his internet's just better. So I'm just like, well, okay, I guess survival the fittest it includes internet connection. That's great. That's wonderful. Thanks. It's, it, it's fitting that the Canadian leaves before all the Americans. That's why I said it's Lord of the Flies. You literally killed off your Jesus representative. Now you're all fucked. Now chaos is just hitting the fan. And I'm going to enjoy watching every minute of it. Oh, oh man. boy. I can't. You all asked for this. <laughs> I asked for nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Good time. It's good though. Fun. Good fun. <laughs> Jolly good fun. Very fun. V fun. Wood fun again. Yep. Yeah. Would you do? Would you do? I mean, I plan to make all these events after my vacation and extra life coming up. And oh, now yeah, we have this uh, actually next week. This week, oh. we're trying to it's plow usually out. SGDQ, right? SGDQ is usually last week or this week. So okay. what I'm doing this year is I'm 
Are they doing a virtual I'm, one? Yes, yeah. in August. So what I'm doing is oh. I'm, I'm usually I take two weeks off in summer and two weeks off after New Year's. Mm -hmm. So I'm breaking up my summer one this year. So I'm only taking one week uh, now, and then I'm going to take another week when SGDQ happens. Yeah. Because I have a lot that I need to plan for Extra Life and other things during this week coming up. And then in August, it'll mostly be like damage control. Mm -hmm. So, Gotcha. You guys are participating, right? Putting you on the spot. Being completely yeah. unfair. Sweet. I mean, I've said yes, like, I know. ten times at this point. Right. But I'll, I'll actually, so, you know. Yeah. Man, I will... <sighs> I've it's not just it's not just in November. I think I'm in. Yeah, that's fair. It's, yeah, you, you're too far deep, man. Yeah, I still have the wig somewhere. I think. Oh, my stuff is like eaten by moths at this point. There's no, there's no reason for me oh, to become genuine. Yeah. I was thinking about like if I was to do another mm -hmm. cosplay. Could you guys see me as Ganondorf, like Ganon noob? Are you gonna buy like a wig thing? A wig? <laughs> like a wig the, thing? Like the orange hair wig. or whatever? Um, I kind of thought... I almost... I almost wonder if this would work where... Um, what if... I said, hey, a cosplay happens at this amount, but I would go deeper into the cosplay the more that's donated. So, like, for a hundred... Let's, let's just use a theoretical one, right? For a hundred bucks, I, I, I cosplay as Ganondorf. But for 250 bucks, I'll actually dye my hair orange and cosplay as Ganondorf. And then for 500, like I'll put on the cape, and then for like a thousand, I'll talk like Ganondorf. You know, what I mean? like that type of thing. That's a low fucking goal for the hair dyeing. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just using theoretical numbers, but I'm saying like I'm curious if I could pull something off. Like, because I, I like what we did last. I like what I did last year with the incense, just humble brag. But like, I, I think the format we had last year was the best. And then this year we're going to basically copy AGDQ or any other marathon and kind of do like, yeah, you, uh, you'll game with me. I'll always be there, but you don't have to play with me. Like you can play your own stuff and just show it off to people. Um, we'll go from there type of deal. Um, oh, but I'm blanking on what we did together last year. We did you and I. Yeah. I know we did something. What did we do? Good. <laughs> what did we do? I know I, I, I wanted to do the game show, but then I ended up in the hospital. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, <laughs> don't do that this year, man. Yeah, we we, we definitely need hospital. you this year. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, this time I'll just be sick and not go to the hospital. Good. I, you know what? I don't condone that, but good idea. No. Um, I don't remember what we what did. What did we do? We didn't do showdowns, right? Uh, uh, maybe. Because <clears throat> we did showdown for the superpower. Yeah. But... I don't, I don't know. Raz, we did the speed run of Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. Which was super freaking cool. <laughs> that was a lot. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't that. We only spent, what, three days on it? I lost to the power of math. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you lose the power of math? And a uh, rigged <laughs> pong. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Do you remember? Because you we were both on the same floor. And then yeah. Doofa dropped a donation. We had to do like a bunch of games. Oh yeah. Oh, God. oh and then you got sent out and yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It was a big rip. Oh. Okay, so noob, we super did do uh we did showdown and scribbly. Right, the first it was four seven, right? It was the generation fights? Yeah. Right. That's where you like friggin' thrash me. <laughs> and then we did Scriblio, and then my life changed forever that day. Because From you discovered Scriblio? my slugs. You discovered my slugs. Oh! Oh, we did the rolls for the Yeah, moon. we did the dice. Oh, we did the dice. We did the <laughs> that was the fucking worst. Oh my god. <laughs> it literally was the worst thing I've ever done in my life. You oh, liked yeah, it. Do it again. No, I fucking didn't. <laughs> oh, that was back before I had the beard. No, because you shaved it for the superpower and never grew back. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, you shaved it that day and in then, like late September it just never grew back fully <laughs> until later. Yeah, now I remember because fucking the the shaver cut off halfway through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the oh. battery died and I'm just sitting there with the oh, fucking my Lord. part down the middle. And then at the same time your mic or your camera broke. My camera <laughs> so, like, was, well, it was it, like, on my froze. phone. 
Yeah, it froze on the perfect frame of you. Like, everything's on fire. Your beard is half cut. You have the split down the middle. Your camera's broken. The battery's dead. You're stuck in your bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> sounds horrible. And I think Apocalypse the shaving's a little level. rusty, too. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. So it wasn't cutting too good? Uh... Thank God I got a new razor since then, but I haven't used it, so... It was kind of a waste. But still, what the heck? Oh, God. Yeah, what there's gonna that? be. Hmm? What? No. Huh? I was just gonna say, there's a lot that I want to do this year. It's just a matter of of taking the time to prepare it and see if it would be yeah. good and fun. That'll be a fun year. Just you know, let me know when I'm down for whatever. Are you guys both subs? I forget. Yeah. You gotta. You I gotta... was, and now it's expired. <gasps> That's okay. Um, cause uh, Gamma, we're talking in the sub only Discord about the new block for July. You need to uh, the what? Let's see the, the monthly Nuzlocke battles or monthly Nuzlocke things for the community. Subs get to say what challenge we do. Block. Or two's Nuzlocke, I think. Did I do two two Nuzlocks? You did Soul Link with me, and we died ten times. Eight of them. Yeah, we did the and Soul Link, that. and we did the <laughs> Oxlot. Oh God. And that was it. <laughs> that's all. That's all I did. That's that's the only Nuzlocke I've ever done. So maybe I should do a real Nuzlocke for once. Well, I mean, the community ones are going to be short ones, so they're going to be like three or four badges worth, and they're going to be like simplified. Like that's the idea for the community. It'd be like if you want to participate, you don't have to be a hardcore Nuzlocke or like myself. Like you, there'll be much shorter runs for because I know everyone's busy. So huh. I'm going to do them on stream. And then other people can kind of like post their progress or be like, yeah, I did this. Be like, cool, you know, or, you know, if it's not cool, like, ah, you know, that sort of deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. We're, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the stuff that's going to be happening. Let's and Raz see. is brewing up some cool stuff at Gamma's living. So, I mean, that's always I a good time. Alive, yeah. I am still breathing. Amazing. I'll and announce I'll something at some point. Yeah, I know. That's why, that's why I kept it incognito. Yes. I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> if you need help with any of that, just let me know. Same? The best, but... the Gamma has much more knowledge about actually doing what you're going to do versus me, but I'm sure I can help mm. in some way. <laughs> we'll brainstorm after this. Hey, brainstorm yeah. is... Oh, yeah, that's definitely my thing. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is definitely building 5,000 ideas and watching 4,999 of them burn to the ground for whatever reason. <laughs> well, at least you got a solid one out of that. Yeah, that's generally how it works. It's just, mm-hmm. you know, when you're me and you build 5,000 ideas a day, there's a lot of things on the PC. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of dead people on the PC. <sighs> well, well. That sounds slightly concerning. I am currently dialing 911. <laughs> Why? Nothing. Man, when does anime come back? Fuck. <laughs> An- anime never left. No, it did because of the corona. D corona? D corona. My corona? The corona. It ruined all my anime. Now I gotta wait like two weeks. I've been watching multiple people talk about like what Canada Day and Independence Day is going to look like this year. And I'm like, okay. so instead of me sitting in a baseball field looking at fireworks, I sit in my backyard and listen to fireworks. Doesn't sound much different to me, to be honest with you. It's going to be me. I mean, that's why I do seeing all these people outside being fucking stupid without masks. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's. Yeah. Fuck. I live in America, so we're fucked. Uh, dude, it's it is. Dude, you know, just seeing the fucking there's fucking videos of people like freaking out because they don't want to wear a mask in a store, and they're being like told to leave, and then they throw a fucking fit or they cough on people. It's fucking stupid. People are fucking scumbags. I think those people would make that problem anyways, though. Whether it was masks or just something else, they don't. Like. Oh, I, I'm sure that's the case, but also this one actually could hurt people. Oh, well, yes, this one will actually harm people. You're right. But it's just yeah. like, it, you can already tell if it was even not in the times. Like, this is not a person you would. Like, you could tell right away. Right? And that's not typing people yeah. being like, oh, yeah, you definitely look like a Karen. Or I didn't know the opposite of Karen was Kyle. 
I thought it was Kevin because Kevin Karen. I don't know. I thought that made more sense. I don't know. Huh. I've, I've not dealt with one of those. I don't. I don't think they even exist. I think my entire existence is a oh duskstone, uh, Kevin. But anyway, Kyle, whatever. <laughs> um, but the point is. Oh my god! What were we talking about? Uh, oh, yeah. The world's on fire. How about yours? Don't put other people in danger. You hey now, push. yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what, what else was there? There are just two zeros that spawn. That's like I a point one percent chance. I complain about anime, mm-hmm. so I got everything I wanted to talk about over on the podcast. Um, what else? <laughs> Talked about pepperoni pizza. Oh, oh, obligatory oh. reminder of butt funneling. There you go. Okay, now we're good with that. Why? Is- Why does it have to be every <laughs> fucking episode? And Jesus is my homeboy story coming on episode 100. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're at 17, actually, I think. Dude, what a ride. Know, We've right? done this for 17 weeks. Like, that's commitment. That's commitment. That's, that's impressive. And we only missed one. We only missed one, but you know what? Even if we missed it, well, no, I think we took like a couple weeks here and there when we were like breaking them up and trying to figure out what day we wanted to do. So, like, it's it's been what five, six months? What is it? Has it been like four months of us just actually doing this? Um, hold on, I need my calculator. oh my god, seventeen divided by <laughs> well, it's like three and a bit, right? It's three and a half plus the other week, so it's been about four months. Four. Dang, dude, it's been four and a quarter months. I can't believe it's been that long. What the heck? It doesn't feel like it. Time flies when you're having fun. Thanks to everybody who's been listening to us ramble about fucking nothing for four months. Being uneducated buffoons, but still giving the opinion. Now at seven. (laughs) Oh, God. Oh, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, I'm okay with it. And we haven't run out of stories. No. I, I did that thing where you, you pull on your collar and you, you make a weird noise. Like, eh. Yeah. Oh, I think, uh. yeah. Yeah. Apparently, Raz becomes Peter Griffin. Yikes. <laughs> That's the awful thing I have ever heard. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> no I refunds, sorry. I don't. No refunds. Oh, my God. It's all yours. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can't it. No, you're much cooler than Peter Griffin, and nobody can take that away from you. Shine. Is that really much of a statement, though? No. I, I mean, I'm trying to be nice, okay? You know that I didn't have friends, or if I did, apparently they told me the wrong things as a kid. So I believe like Animal Crossing's pinned to a fucking CD, or Memory apparently calls. JRPG is Japanese, not Junior. Oh yeah. my god, I forgot about that fucking episode. <laughs> I literally had a headache for like four hours afterwards because I laughed too hard oh before I god. almost passed out. <laughs> Should never pass out for comedy, man. It ain't good. <laughs> oh my god. I I could I literally almost couldn't breathe. But you're like I that just... most times though. Well yeah, that's because I have asthma. The other the fuck is I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad that we can share these experiences as human beings together where everybody comes see like you, you can be like me where you can make big mistakes like that like Japanese RPG versus junior RPG but not be an asshole that's the way you do it Sure. you just have like you have like silly oopsies that's all mm-hmm. yeah Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody, so every- <laughs> I forgot the song. lyrics. God yeah. damn it. No. I was about to say everybody does their time. It just makes it sound like everybody's a criminal at some point in their life. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I, I suppose. I don't think anybody's not done a, a crime or a bad thing. I'm an angel, Gamma. What are you talking about? You've done something. I'm sure I've, of it. I've done many things, but none of them are criminal. It doesn't have to be criminal. I just meant a bad thing. Shit, he got me. Have you ever <laughs> fucked up? Uh, I'm sorry. Hi, my name is Pro Pokenoob. You can answer it right now if you want. Yeah, no. 
you know what I mean. Uh, I'm just murdering a Mareep. With my cold, bloody hands. That's fucked. What are you doing with this poor sheep? Right? Killing with a Tornadus. Oh yeah, so oh, we've been fucking around with Pixelmon. I guess we might as well talk about it. Uh, they updated very recently to put the Gen 8 Pokemon in. Ooh. Um, so we've now updated some stuff for that. We've been testing and we'll see how that goes. Because uh, we used to have the server and then that got kind of fucked. So things are getting worked on. Don't, don't, lose, don't lose the hope. Uh, but yeah, no, they, they implemented new Pokemon. Um, I think that's really it, honestly. They made some small changes. They brought quests. some music back. They got quests they... now. Oh my god, dude. I'm so happy Pixelmon music is back. It's so good. Dude, I literally, I literally am listening to violins right now. And I'm just like, yes, this is what I want to experience while murdering Pokemon. Because oh. that sounds totally normal. But, <laughs> oh man. It's pretty clean. Love... No, it's, it's a pretty clean update. The Pokemon sprites look really good. And, uh... <laughs> We're on 8.0.2. Oh, yeah, Farfetch'd yeah, Farfetch fucking... doesn't look like a derp bird anymore. Oh my god, it was just a bunch of blocks. Now it like actually it's... looks like Farfetch. Its mouth would be non-stop jittering back and forth, so it looked like it had like a like a grudge face almost, just from its from its beak to its neck. And then its eyes would just be staring at you super brightly. So just imagine like a really freak like imagine the eyes emoji and then put like the grudge under it that's that's what it looked like it was amazing that sounds awful and rip dude is venomoth still broken we need to find a venomoth we need to see if it's still like oh no derpy because it wasn't on the list of fixed stuff so it might still be broken oh lord <laughs> paris was fixed which makes me sad because you'd just be like a jack-in-the-box with legs <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. i mean you could you check it out and see how do we do that? I have to go find one. That means I have to play time. I have to put time into yeah, the Yeah, you pixel. super have to find one. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <coughs> I forgot I had that power. Yeah. <coughs> but you told me not to cheat. If you get rid of it, it's fine. <coughs> as long See? as there's no evidence, it's fine. <coughs> exactly. That's the way I like to think, too. Nice, Raz. High five. Oh, my God. Or in goodness. this case, high foot, because COVID times. How does that? What? How does that? How does that make it any less not good? Um, because we have sneakers on when we do it. That's what my girlfriend and I do. We high, we high foot. Put on a fucking glove, then. I don't know what to tell you. What? I don't. It's just never mind. You put a, a glove on your foot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I know you're talking about ham, but we're gonna totally turn this into put a glove on your foot. Uh, <laughs> is that just called a sock? At that point, I don't, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm a mess. I'm still running up three hours of sleep. I mean, yeah, you haven't fallen asleep yet, so you're doing a better job than me. Nice. I guess. I'm contemplating whether or not I blow up this person's house. Why oh, are you, you put doing man? such violent things in Pixel? No, nope, because I'm the demolitionist of this of the server. I mean, oh, okay. oh yeah you haven't seen my trick room trial so you don't know what amazing things i can build because somebody is still on working on it i know i know on it. I, I, the, the, the server popped up first and i had to work on that and then i'll get the trick room trials i swear like God, i guess I'm, I'm just gonna drop that shit on youtube almost yeah. unedited and we're going to watch it live. We're going to have a lot of fun. I have lots of stories. We could talk about the goddamn psychic trial that took three fucking months. <laughs> With three rollbacks. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, it was, it was extremely unfortunate. It wasn't anybody's fault. It's just extremely, extremely unfortunate. And my yeah. undying determination to get stuff done it knows no bounds, apparently. Yeah, Noob needs to... He, he, he does things a lot. If you don't stop. I don't stop. I got a creative itch that just can't be scratched. Yep. Sure just the way it be. Just the yeah. way it be. Yeah. Put it to use. Hit me up at uh at Pro Pokedoop on all social medias and uh yeah, go from there. I got you. At the end of the episode, you can 
I know we're not into the episode, Gamma. I'm getting a double in today. Oh, I'm being Wait, greedy. How, how long has this episode been? Uh, Only an hour and a half. We have about half an hour left. Okay. About. So let's Don't just her. in silence for 30 minutes. I mean, what we're trying to do that before, where it's just going to be me, like, not talking for 30 minutes. So that could be the end of the episode, just like, because you guys can't talk for 30 minutes straight, apparently, so. I can't. Yeah, peace That's and true. quiet. What? I'm, are you saying that we hurt your ears, Raz? <laughs> no. Are you saying that we give you headaches, Raz? I'm not. I'm just making a commentary on us being silent for 30 minutes. Just, like, just imagine, like, <sighs> med- like, super calming music and just the sound of the ocean. I don't need to imagine. I'm in Pixelmon right now. That's all I'm hearing. <laughs> As you said, that like super calm music came on and ran by a waterfall. I'm like, ah, huh, that's kind of worked out. Cool. <laughs> Skitty, kill it. No, get the fuck back here. I'm going to use no. my hammer. Oh, never mind. It attacked me midair. Cute cat. Now die. Damn. It is dead. I feel good. It's, be like this. it's Pokemon. I was born and taught this way. <laughs> nice. Yeah, this this server is gonna be great. We're gonna make it great. It's gonna be good, and more uh, resource friendly for sure. I, I guess I'll explain it because you know. It, Sorry, um, I was reading something. I have no idea what is going on. It, we we essentially when we built our other server, there's like a lot of huge structures and it bugged people out when they came to the main area. So we, uh, we, uh, what, what, what we call it? We would not simplify. We would, uh, not budget. What do you, what do you call it? Uh, be misered. We misered out. Like, I don't know. We penny pinched. What do we, what do you call uh, it? We just, we just dumbed it down. So no, but we, we made it look good. It's not like it's dumbed down. It looks trashy. It's what no, it that's like not what I mean down. by dumbed down. We dumbed down the amount of stuff that's there because it was a bit much on people who would spawn in and be like, oh, my computer exploded now. Yeah, they can't even leave the spawn. They're just like walking around like they've been hit with the drunk potion. <gasps> the drunk potion! I can get the drunk potion back! Yes! Oh Blue fire returns. What? what? There's a thing in here um, that's that's like, a, like blue confusion fire. So if you walk through it, Everything goes like all wonky, like you walk in random directions, even without you pushing forward. So I actually built, when you eventually see it, I built a trial. I built like an arena where you had to try and punch each other off of it, but there's fire all over the place. So if you punch them into the fire, they'd like fling themselves off of it sometimes. Oh, jeez. Yep. It was so much fun. Nobody played it, but it was so much fun. I played it once. Yeah, we did. Like we actually had fun with with like a few people coming on at the same time because you put on the slime blocks. You're like bouncing and throwing yourself in random places. So <laughs> it became like the Exorcist Arena and it was freaking great. That sounds like a lot. It was a lot. Oh my it, god! It, it was a lot. It was it was much skill. Very wow. And we want to do it with arrows, but people are <laughs> killing each other with arrows. So I'm like, okay, I guess we'll just have to resort to punching. Uh. Not as cool, but it works. Oh, does this mean I can build my Legend of Zelda dungeon on here? Ooh. Um, I guess. Because of the cool thing that I learned about arrows. Sick. I can't tell you because that'll ruin the whole puzzle because <laughs> I can't tell you what arrows can do in this game. If it still works in this game. If it does, we're in business. And I'll make it Pokemon. As I would. Oh, well. Also, I swear when we make when we remake the... Oh man, I gotta rebuild the whole battle tree, man. That took three days. Not necessarily. I gotta look into schematics and stuff. <sighs> I can, there's this thing called there, there's a basically a way I can turn a certain area of a Minecraft game into a file where I can paste it into another world, right? And if I can figure that out, that'd be great because I know Noob worked a lot on certain things. So honestly, um, I know I know like Marie put a ton of work into the lava place. If anything. It might just be better for me to redo the stuff so I can, like, not make it ridiculously huge or as much. Like, like the, I, love, I love the open pit mine thing that I did, 
but I'm sure I can make one that's not as ridiculous mm-hmm. on graphics. Mm-hmm. Like even the sky, like I was like basically the the projects that I had in the other one was the battle tree, which was I basically took like Yggdrasil, carved it out, and put people inside, and you had to like figure your way out through the tree. Um, there was what's it called? There was the open pit mine. Which basically, because I, I, when I build my events, I build it out of themes, not just types. So, like, a lot of things in, uh, like, I had one uh, miner, and he had nothing but drill Pokemon. So, he had anything that had, like, hands resembling tools. So, he had a B drill, he had an Excadrill, a Sand Slash, stuff like that. So, I made it more like that. Oh, now I can put Copperage on the team. Nice. But, um,. I did a I did a tree, I did an open pit mine, and then I was working on Valhalla, which was gonna be like a bunch of monks in the sky. You actually have to like jump across clouds and fight like different evolution masters and stuff like that. It was gonna be really cool. It's just super laggy, that's the only problem. So I mean it sounds really cool. It was gonna be really cool. Yeah. But uh I could rebuild it and probably make it a better size and not have to abuse as many mechanics for it and stuff like that. Just keep it simple. For now, and then we could do like some big community building. Oh, like a battle manor of some type. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I have too many ideas. Help. Yeah. Well, Help. Yeah. Can I just, can somebody give me a salary so I can actually sit here 16 hours a day and just do it? I, I mean, I'd do it anyways, but like a salary would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the wrong business for that, aren't I? <laughs> Stop that. Hey, Stop it. Your hitbox is like behind your head, by the way. I I would hope so. <laughs> now witness the power of the... the the what? Oh he's oh my god! He has nice with the face still! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, Please take a picture for Raz! I will take what? a screenshot real quick for you, Raz. Um <laughs> Venomoth looks kind of fucked up. <laughs> it looks like Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> it's it's, it's Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> what? There you go, Raz. It sounds like he's saying Gamma. Okay. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> what? He's... He's saying Vanamoth, but if you don't hear it properly, it's your Gamma. <laughs> Look at its eyes. Oh my god. They're on what? completely different <laughs> hemispheres. It's fuck. <laughs> I'm just I'm just looking at this picture waiting for it to do like the chameleon thing. It's completely different directions. <laughs> You know what? This yeah. is what we're all gonna look like after 2020. Our eyes are just gonna be <laughs> so spread apart. We're just gonna be like, oh, oh god. Is that the chameleon thing I'm thinking of? Or is that iguanas? Uh, I don't know. Let's just go in two different directions. Is this both? Uh, uh, I have no idea. That's iguanas, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what they really like... need to add? <laughs> You know what they really need to add in Pixelmon? Spectator for spectator mode for wild battles. Because you have to wait for them to finish their battle. I really want to see how this fight between Rattata and Shepard is taking so long. <laughs> oh, I should mention, uh, we 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 play on Pixelmon or Forge, not like Generations. Or oh, anything. yeah. <laughs> There's different types. If we played on Generations, we wouldn't have this beautiful Nigel Venomberry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Can we have a giant statue of Venomoth as our representative? I don't know how to do statues. Oh, you get the chisel. You just uh, you hack in the chisel. chisel. You hack in the chisel. You can only oh, hack in the chisel. So you cheat is what you you're saying. You have to. It's the only way to get the, the so statues. Cheat is what you're saying. Gamma, you cheated in Shinies, please. No, I didn't. They're yes, you did. Legit. They're completely legitimate. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, by the way, Tim actually got a fucking legit shiny, that motherfucker. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, we're not going to talk about that here. I'm mad. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. I mean, that's hey, good, though. Wait, what the hell? So, Raz, when are we doing a collab again? At some point? We haven't, we haven't talked about this. No, not even extra life, just in general. When are we what are on again? the spot? 
Yeah, we yeah. haven't talked about this. I know. That's why we I'm asking you right now. What else are we going to do on this podcast? What are we going to do? Right now? What are we going to do? When else are we going to talk? Oh, I guess there's after. But what else are we going to talk? After? You just said after? Oh, my God. <laughs> the What's, what, there's nothing secret secret. There's nothing secret secret unless you have, like, some grand idea that you're not telling me on the podcast right now. I mean, not really. Maybe at some point, but not at this moment. <sighs> Fine, I guess we won't keep business in with business. Also, <laughs> this guy with the orange exclamation mark overhead looked like your Cinderace running around. It's just a doctor with an orange exclamation mark. I'm losing it. Do you want to hear a tale of the legendary Pokemon rarely seen in these parts? Do tell. You've been told a tale, but a magical orb and a bird seldom seen in the arid mesas of the land. Oh. Wait, does that give me like a marker on my map? Oh. Dude, that'd be cool. The quest system in this is brand new, so you could do like random things to uh to get like free items and stuff like that. But uh I was just told of I think that's Moltres in Mesas? No, Moltres uh Mesas are Zapdos. Well we don't have any Mesas around this, so That's okay. I was told about it. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> Wait, let's see. F oh, they spelt fiery wrong. They spelt it F R I R E Y. Fire. Fire flight. Isn't that how it's spelled? No, fiery is F I E R Y. Fiery. Isn't like fiery dance? Isn't that, isn't, that, isn't that how it's spelled? It's not fire. Do you even English, bro? I don't. I don't know how to read or write. You know this. It's impossible, Gamma. It is impossible. And I'm living it. Yeah. 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 Hard. What? what? I said words are hard. They are, dude. You They're know, hard. English is difficult. Especially when you're running on no sleep. Oh, speaking of English being difficult, um, mm -hmm. I got invited to a tutor mentor uh, ask and share session. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks. Where I meet up with like seven other people online, confirmed online, and mm -hmm. uh, we bring our expertise of whatever we want to talk about, and people ask each other questions, and we just talk and stuff like that. So I don't know what I, I mean, I, I know what I'm going to offer. I just ask them about like, I need resources for junior level, like, English and spelling, because there's no resources to help kids spell, and it's sad. There's Google. There's brain no, pop. but the, you know what the problem is, though, Raz. That is very true. But there's only so many times I could put people through that same thing before we need something different to help. Because clearly, giving kids spelling tests nonstop is not helping. Oh no, I, I mean. Yeah. That is true. Like, generally, yeah. you memorize the words for that week, and then they leave your brain forever, because you just have more lists of words every week. And then you never actually use the words, and it's like, okay. They're just there for those. the sake of being words. They had they had extra uh, credit words. One of them was literally supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's not even I know how to spell that. Words. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wait, it's it's a word in the dictionary? Yeah. Same no. thing with the anti establishment What? Yeah. There's oh my god. Literally, anti disestablishmentarianism just means the opposite of something. That's all it means. Like two things that are opposites of each other. Yeah, but with these extra credit questions, they never actually told us how to spell it at any point. Ready? S U P E R C A L I. F R A G I L I S T I C E S P I D E O T I U S. All right, hold on. I got this. I'm ready. Uh, T H I S I S B E R Y F U S C K I N G S T U P I D. I got lost halfway. What happened? <laughs> fucking stupid. Oh, okay, I, was, I missed. I'm like, this is fun. Oh, no, there it goes. Bye. <laughs> Wait, did you try to spell fuck and then spell fusk instead? Is that what I'm, it was? I'm tired. Is that what happened? I'm, I'm tired. Fusking. Oh 
Oh my god. I'm not good at spelling. I I this is the Clearly. Reason I'm spelling bees. You can't even spell the word that's the most used in your language. <laughs> what you say. Fusk. Fusk. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm tired. A N T I D I S E S T A B L I S H M E N T T A R I A N I S M. Anti establishmentarianism. Isn't there oh. also that one word that's like super Newman ultrascopic silicone by all candy codios? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> what? <laughs> the longest word in the English dictionary. It's not supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? No, isn't it like super Newman ultrascopic silicone volcaniconiosis or something? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's probably just something that's in your shoe, like in your sh- no, like in your, sh- it's your shoe. It's like when volcano ash gets in your lungs and makes you sick or something. Oh, oh yeah. Hilarious. But oh yeah, true. I guess it's not really in the English dictionary. It's just a really long word. Let me, let me just try to find it. I mean, it has to be in the English dictionary because you just said it. <laughs> I guess. Wait, do scientific. Like, oh yeah. So, like, would like a plant genus be part of the English dictionary, or is that like? I think it depends on the dictionary thing? quality. Not I all see. dictionaries are created equally. That's fair. I'm gonna make my own dictionary, and I'm just gonna have all of the words except for the one. Yeah, it, yeah, it is that. No, it's not super Newman. It's just Newman, ultra mm. microscopic silicovel. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that part of it? No, you mean fusk. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna copy paste this into the group chat. Yeah, That's I kind of want. Word. That's okay. I word. need what the? Oh, fuck? Uh, I already spelled it wrong at first. My eyes Numo. hurt. Okay, Numo. Can you say it again? I want to try to spell it before looking at it. <laughs> oh, I think I messed up. Let me try to read the word and see if I can. Okay. You know what? No, forget it. I'm Numa. just going to read it now. N- okay, go for it. <laughs> yeah, you messed it up already in the beginning. It's Numano. Numano Ultra Microscopic no. Silico Volcano Coniosis. Pneumonia ultra micro silicone <laughs> calicinosis. Well, if we're really trying to say this as bad as possible, pneumono ultra microscopilico coval coconocriceus. There we go. What? <laughs> I'm not serious. making fun of you. Oh shit! Oh, I just lost serious. my night vision potion. Oh, Rip. oh my god! But yeah, that's that's the longest English word. Huh? Is it? How does that make you feel? <laughs> I don't know. Now all I can it's think so of weird. is about that buffalo sentence. <laughs> buffalo, 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 buffalo. I love buffaloes. Oh yeah, because there's many ways to use buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> I hear that sentence and I just think of, um, like buffalo wings, <laughs> and I don't know why. Buffalo wings. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Mess around with fucking buffalo wings all the time now. Because I gotta, I gotta sauce them and cook them and stuff. Ooh. I don't know why. I feel like I'm the only person that has this issue. I can't Probably. eat traditional uh, chicken wings. Like the ones with the bones in them. That's fair. Yeah, mm. I, I, I eat them and then I hit the bone and then I get sick and I feel like I gotta throw up. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it, it fucks me up. It's fair. I don't see anything wrong with this. Oh, I, I get shit for it, so I'm like, I feel like... Is yeah, it but... because it's like, it's not real wings! <laughs> like that kind of thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. No, but like people giving you shit for it. Yeah, I like, like, the, chi- I like yeah. the chicken nuggets. Or the boneless wings, as we like to call them. <laughs> 
I, I mean, too, indeed, like the boneless wings. Like, it's less of a hassle. Yeah, plus you get more out of it, I feel. <laughs> mm hmm At least, I think. It, it feels like it, right? Because it's not like there's, like, a bone in the middle, and it's not like you have, like, the weird, like, gristle parts around that you don't want to eat because they feel gross. I don't know. Oh, oh, uh, you do get more with uh, boneless because then it doesn't like it doesn't get stuck around the bone because the bone actually they just take like the really non meaty parts and keep it. Mm hmm. I don't know. Beats the heck out of me. No, I want hot wings. Well, wait Dang three it. months. Dude, Ooh. gotta wait three months now. Oh, yeah. Three months, why? Because she Cause waited had... three months for pizza. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Dude. And it was just Costco pepperoni pizza. Oh, oh the... my Ooh. God. Oof. Yeah. You didn't even indulge on the pepperoni pizza. You went to freaking Costco. Look, we don't food shame here, but my god, Raz! I mean, Sounds I'm like not the shame. one who went. My family just isn't pizza people. That's fair. Like pizza. when I'm, well, like when I was down in my apartment, we had a Domino's nearby, so I would get Domino's. Mm -hmm. And if when you when you when you have Costco pizza your entire life, and basically nothing else, literally any other place that that that's not Costco. Like having pizza there is like a blessing. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, but Costco pizza isn't bad. It's just that I've had it so much in my lifetime that I'm like desensitized to it. Like it just exists, and I eat it, and I don't feel anything. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Raz is desensitized to good tasting pizza. We must fix this. <laughs> Oh no. Wait. Donate now to the Raz Pizza Fund on GoFundMe. I need pizza that's not Costco pizza, please. Uh, just cheats, cheats, treat stream. Not cheat, treat stream. I can't say words. Ooh. Remember that? Remember treat stream? Nope. You can send I... streamers pizzas. Isn't I feel like good? I saw someone who had that, like, as thing? a panel on one of their streams. Like, yeah, no, as a panel. They, they put their address in. But it's safe because nobody actually knows the address. And then you just it's like still buy a dinner thing. for them. It's right? still a fucking thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm just like buy random things, like buy a pizza or like chicken wings or whatever. Speaking of chicken wings, if you want some hot chicken wings, apparently we got this fucking sauce now. It's brand new. It's called like Nashville, Tennessee hot or whatever the fuck. And it's, mm -hmm. it's, I, I, Okay, so we had two new sauces come in. There's that, mm -hmm. and then there's the smoky sriracha. I did not know which one was which. <laughs> so I, I, took, I took a little dip, and I got the smoky sriracha. I'm like, all right, that's not, that's not too bad. You know, it's just sriracha. It hurts a little bit, but that's fine. Um, and then I'm like, just to make sure that this is the the hot one, I dipped in there, and then... I put it in my mouth, and then I went to cry in the bathroom for about ten minutes. <laughs> but then again, I'm not good with spices. Same. Uh, yeah. Gamma, the spiciest thing about us is our hearts. Our Damn. hearts are spicy? What? They are now. Damn. What, do they have, like, heartburn or something? Oh, God, heartburn's the worst. You know my girlfriend has never had a headache or heartburn ever in her life. Really? She's never had a headache before? That's My girlfriend is, a, is also an anomaly of science and medicine, just in an opposite way. Like, I'm the one where I found ways to confuse doctors. She's just never had anything. Ever. Damn. That's what she says, and I believe her, because she didn't lie about that shit. I'm just like... Hold on, yeah. I mean, I just... I, I can't believe it. I'm like, you're so lucky that you've never had that. She doesn't even drink. I, like, I drink a ton of water every day. I just get nonstop headaches. Well, not nonstop mm -hmm. headaches, but I will get a headache once in a while, and it sucks. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, she's never had heartburn. I'm like, you're so lucky you don't wake up at 6 in the morning having trouble breathing because your heartburn is literally just destroying you. 
Oh no. Sucks. <clears throat> I hate heartburn. I hate, yeah, well, I've I mean, had I headaches know. before, but not heartburn. So I don't know what that's like. Uh, it's not good. Imagine, okay, imagine like if you ever I, I'm I'm assuming you've at some point like felt like you're about to puke, right? Mm-hmm. I've okay, had so, that many situations. Yeah. So imagine that, but imagine that it burns on the way up and uh. it doesn't actually come up. Like it just kind of goes up and down like a thermometer on like on a on a hot to cold day, like nonstop. Like imagine like a thermometer's going up and down. That's what it feels like, except it's on fire. It's that sounds gross. It's terrible. It hurts. Oh no! And it's really bad for you too. Like you're like getting heartburn is actually really bad for you because it. Burns. Isn't that like your stomach acid doing yeah, some weird shit? Yeah. yeah. Try acid reflux. That's fun. Ooh. Gotta love yeah, I think that. that's the stomach bile one. Heartburn isn't heartburn acid reflux. Uh no, two different things. All right. Heartburn uh-huh. does isn't actually like the acid acid. It's it's like it gets to a point, but it's not like you know stomach acid actually just going up your fucking throat. Uh. Yeah, acid reflux goes like pretty far, almost to the point where you are throwing up, but you're not. Right. Yeah. Damn, I just you missed know, two five percent accurate moves in a row again. Amazing. Ninety five percent again. You know what? You know what gives me heartburn? Mm-hmm. Having that in the podcast. <laughs> that sounds painful. Yeah, okay, well, you gotta get that doctor, man. There's right you now. got some problems. It hurts oh, a no. lot right now. It hurts. A lot. Because it's the end of the podcast. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to laugh, but I'm just like, why? <laughs> it was a segue. It was a yes. bad segue, but yeah. What it a worked. segue! It, it it was functional. It did its job. I I guess I try. I try very hard. <sighs> Gamma, why don't you tell them really where you try really hard? It's nowhere, apparently. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, I might stream again at some point. <laughs> also, I might tweet once, possibly. Or if you want to see random retweet shit posts, follow me at twitch.tv slash amagamagamma or Twitter, the same thing. Bam. Then, how about you, Reyes? You want... What would people do if they wanted to find you on the internet and enjoy something that you have created? I am also pretty much in the same state as Gamma at this point in time. Fuck. My stream is... uh, Streaming from home is uh, not very optimal, so I'm going to try to focus on YouTube, hopefully. I am currently trying to think of content we're gonna brainstorm after this podcast because I said so, and I, I have no idea. What I'm <laughs> Damn, I gotta skip work, man. We got work to do, dude. Uh, shit, you're right. <laughs> yep. Honestly, for Raz, I would if I could. I really would. So you're Aww. going to, because you can. I can't. I need the money. Oh, I see how it is. Mm. I'm sorry. Remember I like Raz. to pay my bills Remember and that. not go to jail. Remember that. You're not going to jail for skipping work at a pizza place. <laughs> <laughs> what? But noob, think of all the people that are going to have nasty ass crust pizzas. <laughs> no. Ew. Ass crust pizzas? What the no, hell? No, you know what I mean. I'm the only one that can wash those dishes good. Are you saying you're the only one that can wash that ass crust the best in the place? If that's how you have to put it. <laughs> That's how you have to put it. It's the way it's see, being put right now. Yeah, I'm just like, this is the second time you've brought up butts on this podcast. <laughs> oh, God. Um, but, but, funneling is cheating. but funneling is cheating. Also, I just found like four <laughs> different variants of the billion over here. Like literally oh, four God. different variants. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I'm Ray <Rachel laughs> Blitz. Yep. You can yep. find me on Twitter. Uh, Twitch. <laughs> possibly youtube in the future i need to change my youtube username so it's back to one word instead of two i don't know why i made it two. it looks oh, yeah. weird You're um, at speedy berry. raspberry blitz raz yeah. with two z's it's not like the fruit it's different two z's 
You know what's sad? I thought that's how it was uh, spelled originally. We all oh, knew really? That bad at spelling, yeah. We all yeah. knew. Until just now, when you told me it wasn't. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> no, nah, a little bit ago, but still. Okay. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you, noob? Who, the fuck are, Who you? are you, Gamma? Who are you? What, what can I... Why are you staring at me on Pixelmon to make me talk? I'm not talking. You can't force me. You can't okay, make... No, he's punching me in the head. All right, I guess we'll just have to skip him. That's a shame, ain't it? Okay. If you have to, if you feel like you need to skip twitch.tv slash propokenoob, you can. And if you ever want to catch up to Twitter at propokenoob, you can find him on social media because he's being skipped. Um, if you want to know the bravest individual who played in Animal Crossing Survivor to only have seven of his loyal friends, okay, it's five, but okay, four and one mortal enemy. But if you want to hear the stories <laughs> of people who literally gave him freedom, Two of them are here, but the other thing, actually, only one of them, Gamma, you betrayed me. But I let it be myself. Know. I know that's why you betrayed me. But uh, yeah, Twitch, Instagram, ProPokenoob. Also, you can find me on Fiverr for public speaking and charisma coaching. Look for the name Andrew Simonetta. You'll find me in there. It'll say, I want to be your public speaking coach, and you can go get me from there. And uh, we'll do great work together. Trust me. Uh, there will be some potential. Poiks coming for stream uh, for uh, well for streamers especially, but also for subs potentially. And uh, I will be here next week, even though I'm taking a streamcation. But yeah. uh, for those who are listening, I will announce this this week as well. But if you're listening to this, I'm assuming this is going up today, Monday. Uh, <gasps> yeah, we'll do our best. Got him. Um, well, technically yeah. Tuesday. Uh, we put we we put out the the vo- the video the video podcast the day after. Oh, we do. Uh, cause it takes a while for my computer to render it out. I mean, we, we do. I pay attention to the work I do. Yeah. Yeah. So the video podcast comes out either Tuesday or, or Wednesday for you two. Right. But there's not really anything other than just like the image, but still. I um, mean, if you're, if you're only listening to our podcast and not watching us on Twitch, one, why? And two, uh, you mean you too? know that if you or do, plan oh, to watch you mean, us, oh, yeah. I don't know. I, I the context went over my head for a second. Right, I feel you. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm on vacation next week. I'm just gonna keep it simple. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. But there's thousands and beyond thousands of hours of vods on his channel. Oh, fuck you know what's ridiculous that. is that started a lot. You punched in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> you were saying, <laughs> um. What's funny is I made that joke pseudo and then it just stuck. It just stuck with everybody longer than I planned to keep it. I'm just like, I guess I have to just say this now because I didn't expect it to be of all the things that I tried be like, oh yeah, the thousands and thousands of hours of content. I guess it's because Tim made a big deal of it when I said thousands and thousands, but I, I had like 1800 hours. So it wasn't thousands and thousands. So once I hit 2000, I'm just like, yeah, now it's thousands and thousands. And now it's just a thing that everybody says. You know it's what tough. I have? I have hundreds and hundreds of hours. <laughs> Isn't it cool to say it that way? Maybe 11. <laughs> Seven of them were like two months ago. <laughs> yep. I mean, you streamed under a different name before, though, right? Like your name was well, yeah, the AMA but, one? Yeah, it was the other one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh that's, wait, that's Gamma. the other podcast. What's up? Wait, no, Gamma. Even though we're getting what? Jesus and my homeboy at a hundred, did we get that special podcast at a thousand? What special podcast? The one that you're like sworn to never show anybody. I am literally not allowed to. I am afraid Damn I will it. have legal action against me if I do at some point. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Knowing, <laughs> knowing the how people react to certain things, I guess. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. It's not that he'll. It's not like the people he did it with will put legal action. It's we'll have to actually put legal action against him. Yeah. You know what I heard him say once? He told me that sometimes when he's alone, he has nothing better to do. Get him in the podcast! He sticks his finger in cheese sauce. What? And just keeps it there. What? What? Have an excellent day, everyone. What? <laughs>